Cheers, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Grace, aka Cosmo Claws. And if you've never been here before, I am a crazy person. I am a self-confessed art hoarder and I am here in my studio making as many projects as I can out of my gigantic pile of art supplies. If you have been here before, you might be like, Grace, what's going on with your background, fam? Um, missing my skateboards. I've been doing it in a couple of markets recently where I take my skateboards and I sell them because that's what I do uh, and I really just can't be bothered putting them back up on the wall properly every time I come home. So it's a bit blank and we're a bit zoomed in. We're gonna get through it. So this week I was supposed to make a fake neon sign uh, but I got like 75% of the way through that project and then I broke everything so now I've got to wait for some more materials to arrive. So I challenged myself to make a project in three days, something small, something quick, that I could just come up with it, execute it, make it cute, and get out of here. So, if you've watched my last video, uh, you would have seen me make those like geode shark coaster <laughs> situations, like little arctic aesthetic. I have some more of those coasters. I have all these circles, and I never make art out of circles, but I have quite a few of these. And if you are chronically online, just like myself, you will be all over the fact that like Charlie XCX has a new album, Sabrina Carpenter has a new album, Chapel Roan has a new album, and I love all of it and I keep seeing all this art where like they're painted like the Powerpuff Girls and I'm kind of obsessed with it. So I thought let's make some little war coasters based off their albums. I have some holographic vinyl in like a pink, a green, and a blue. I'm gonna try my hand at handwriting like the Brat font and we're just gonna see how it goes. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. This is such a small project compared to what I normally make so I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think in the comments and let's get started. So we are starting on my incredibly well-loved table and I've got my three colors of vinyl here. We're starting with the green one because I say so. And I had no idea what kind of pen I was gonna use at the start of this project to draw on this vinyl because a regular pen isn't gonna work. I didn't wanna wait for paint to dry and I had the idea of using a Sharpie and my brain, as soon as I had that idea was like, don't do it. So I was like, fuck you brain, I'm gonna do whatever I want. And I am just eyeballing these letters off of the internet. So my first try was a bit chunky. She was a bit thick. Tried it again. It's better, which is really all we can hope for. So drew around the coaster to make sure that I had a shape that was like a little bit bigger than the coaster. So when I stick this adhesive vinyl down, I can come around and like cut off the excess and get rid of those little uh, remaining black pieces from the Sharpie. And I did use an X-Acto knife for this um, just so I could really quickly just like flip, flip, flip around and get a really nice circle instead of like messing around with a pair of scissors. And for the next two, we do exactly the same thing. I found a website where you could like type in different words and it would give it to you in the exact brat font. So that's what I did. I'm just copying straight off my laptop screen. And I am genuinely amazed at how I didn't have to redo this like six or seven times messing it up with a Sharpie, but hey, sometimes I'm just really lucky. I think I bought about eight of these acrylic circles. So I'm using three here for these three and I was going to make this video as I always do, much, much bigger than it needed to be because I really wanted to do like these three new school artists and then do three old ones like Britney and Christina and like maybe Kylie or Madonna, I don't know. But it was too many ideas and I did not need to make a 40 minute coaster video. <laughs> In saying that, if you would like to see me make more, leave a comment and uh, tell me which artist you'd like me to do. So, vinyl is on, titles are written. Now, I've just mixed up some clear epoxy resin. There's absolutely nothing else in there. And I'm just pouring it straight over them. Uh, I always make sure when I do a process like this to use more resin than I need, because you really want it to cover the entire circle and to drip over the sides so you don't get any like weird little gaps left over afterwards. And this particular batch just came out bubbly as fuck. So I came over with my lighter and I got rid of any of those bubbles. If you're new to my channel, you might not know that whenever I make something out of resin, I always use any extra resin to make some fun little glittery things. So this time around, I made this cute little bathtub in like a greeny blue color and then it has a pink shift and some rainbow flakes. 
And here is where we learn what happens when resin gets hot and cures over Sharpie. The Sharpie kind of just starts traveling around and you get this faded sort of blurry effect. So that short and sweet one is what it looks like. And this one is where I've gone back over with the Sharpie and kind of fixed it. You're still able to see that it's like a little bit blurry in the background, but I don't really mind that effect. I think it makes it look more 3D. As always with my UV resin antics, I have UV resin straight out of the bottle and then I use a torch instead of a lamp. If you are recreating this guys, um, please wear a respirator, a proper mask. This absolutely cures right in front of you and smokes. You might even be able to see the little wispy smokes come off in the video. I also very much recommend wearing gloves. I realize I'm not wearing them. I'm autistic. Gloves kind of freak me out, but please, please, please wear the proper PPE. But here you can really see how the UV resin comes out and the lamp cures it or starts to cure it mid air. So you're able to create this like really long drip effect. And I know that I'm gonna make like a really, really long one and then cut it into smaller pieces. So I'm kind of just letting it go, creating like a bit of a natural organic shape until it's long enough. I give it a really good go with the lamp uh, and then normally, especially if it's in the middle of the day, I will take all my UV resin pieces and I'll go out and I'll leave them in the sun just to make sure they're 100% cured uh, before I start touching them. And because we want these all to have a drip effect, when I cut them in half, I've got to come back with just a little bit of UV resin, drip it onto the end and make sure it drives back into that drip shape. Otherwise you'll have this like really unnatural like cut effect from the scissors. And once that's done, we are ready for the very last step using the most incredible camera angle you've ever seen. We're just gonna pop down like a single drop of UV resin straight onto the coaster and then use the torch to attach our like little drips. So we'll pop it straight into the drip and then use the lamp to cure it and they'll stand up by themselves. This is definitely also the time where I will dry them just enough for them to stand up and then I will leave them in the sun. So that way the entire thing can just make sure that it is 100% cured. So here's how they're looking from above. And I felt like they were just missing some details. They were missing something. I just like needed a little bit of extra. So I'm coming around and just sort of freehanding some little puddles with the UV resin and just sort of bringing more of that sort of like water splash effect into the whole thing. I'm really glad I did this part because I think that it sort of brings everything together and gets rid of some of that negative space that we were having there. If you have made it this far into the video, thank you so much for sticking with me. Uh, consider liking and subscribing to this video and tell me in the comments which one of the coasters is your favorite, but also which one of these artists is your favorite. And if you absolutely hate all three of them, that's okay. It's just an opinion. Tell me who your favorite artist is. So this is how they're looking out in the sun, drying with the UV rays that the sun gives us. They're so shiny, they're so holographic. I really, really love how these ones have turned out, even if they do have that kind of handmade vibe to them because of my handwriting. Tell me what you think and if you would put something like this up on your wall. I hope you guys are having a sick time in life and I will see you in a fortnight.